The final segment of the loan officer business plan is post-closing activities, right? This is where we are horrible as an industry. Horrible. We're good at getting a couple of realtors to like us. We're okay at managing a loan and a lead. And then we just turn horrible when it comes to following up after the close, which is a tragedy. You earned the trust of this customer. You closed on time, you kicked ass, and then you never talked to them again? Are you crazy? Look, there are amazing CRM tools out there. Salesforce is a great one. Use it, all right? The, the automation in it alone should take off huge burdens from your back. But again, you need to start with intentionality. If you're building, up, building out a plan today, how do you like to be communicated? Right? How do you like to be interacted with? Build that into your CRM. Dedicate time to learning it and to building a system around it so that your customers won't forget you. A couple things on post-closing. First, do your best to make it personal because you're a person and people connect to people. Don't just sign up for any old trite that goes out once a month and looks boring and lame. Write newsletters. Talk about yourself and what's going on in your life. Every three months, I would send out a personal newsletter to my past customers and the realtors I was prospecting. It was about whatever was happening, when I bought a house, when I got married, when I got my dog, all that fun stuff. I let people know what was going on with me. Why? Because I'm a person. And maybe the next time I meet them or interact with them, they'll know me a little bit better, figure out if they like me faster, and engage me like a human being, not as a service. And then automate your system. Your customers should be contacted at least, at a minimum, once a month. At a minimum. I love the birthday uh, uh, cards that can be sent out electronically. What a cute, they, they care about their birthday. So you should too. And then use their name, because they love that. They're not just a piece of marketing, they're a family or a person who deserve dignity and respect, and you should market to them like that. And at this point, honestly, it's not even marketing. It's just checking in. How's it going? Call them. Oh my gosh, just call them. Remind them that your business is built on referrals, right? That you're not just an 800 number churning leads in. Remind them that you're a person and that they matter and that your business matters. And you'll be surprised at how fast it takes off.